and his wife, he even engaged in a wrestling match with God that lasted an entire night. And you know what? It worked. It worked. I mean, Jacob was a man who got what he wanted. The birthright and the blessing. Authority and prosperity. The first place and security. A smooth and easy life. Well, not so much that last one. Jacob certainly didn't have a smooth and easy life. In fact, he got just the opposite. Though he got the birthright and the blessing, he soon discovered that those things don't guarantee happiness. And throughout his life, Jacob paid the price for his victory. In fact, right up to the very end, Jacob's life was harder than it had to be. When you wrestle with God, you lose, even when you think that you win. And so when we do things our own way, rather than being obedient to God, rather than trusting God, life will be difficult. I mean, when we make the initial decision to wrestle with God, we will constantly find ourselves wrestling. In fact, at the end of Jacob's life, he makes this interesting statement. We find this way at the end of Genesis, Genesis 47, verse 9. He says, My days have been few and difficult. My days have been few and difficult. But here's the surprising gospel in the story of this scoundrel. God did not let go of Jacob's hand ever. God did not break his promise to save Jacob or to make him the conduit of salvation to the rest of the world. And that should remind us that in Jesus Christ, all of God's promises come true for his children. Yes, even if they wrestle with him every step of the way. 